<laughs> KAR. So I love playing a cop and I think it kind of goes with my demeanor. Even in my personal life, I'm kind of a disciplinarian and I always fight for what is right. Very righteous as well. So uh, I love donning the cop and playing this character. Well, I've done it differently. And here it's very different, like RGV said, the whole terrain, it's very rural, it's different. A lot of law lawlessness in the sense. This character is um, suddenly placed in an environment where there's a lot of political pressure and she cannot act the way she would want to. So that kind of um, is very demoralizing for somebody who already has authority but can't act. And um, so, so far and so forth, that's how it is. More than just this, it's the narrative that matters. I start the series and uh, I actually didn't know this, but a lot of people think I have a very good voice. Especially after this. Yeah, she's like, I really love you and I love your voice. I was like, oh, that's something new. <laughs> I wasn't aware of that. So, um, well, so Sutradhar just go get there. Right from the beginning of the series, towards the end, I take the story forward and it's through my point of view, uh, the, what happens in the lives of the Naxal, the gang lords, or the, all, the, all the characters, much like uh, the Colombian cop in Narcos. So it's, it's woven through all these the, the interrelationships between uh, all the characters. So that's what it is. And it's very interesting uh, to play somebody like this because I think in a whole ensemble of so many male actors, I think we're just two of us. Right? I don't know if they I, I don't know. Because RGB always has a lot of women around him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many are here in the series. So here it's only him. There, 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 are, lot, no, there are a lot of women in the series, but we took care that each woman wouldn't know the presence of the other women. Very smartly done that. <laughs> so that, that's it. Thank you. Hello, thank you. This is Monica from Bollywood Strips. And first of all, as Nikita said, the trailer is looking very promising, so congratulations to the entire team. And my question is to Rampopat sir again. Uh, so sir, you have given us brilliant projects already, especially in this genre, uh, be it company, Sarkar, and who can forget Satya, of course. So my question is, what different and new is the uh, you know uh, in this story, and was it there was there any pressure considering the fact that this is going to release on an OTT, and OTT audience a bit more critical uh, as we all know, so and they don't have to go any far. They are going to compare your project with your previous projects. So was there any pre pressure? See, to start with, I am I am not sure this can be comparable to any of the any of the previous kind dramas I've done, uh, like explain because uh, both the characters and, and the way it is placed and the kind of issues it deals with, like I said, the, the Naxalites or the landlords and uh, those kind of things are something I've never dealt with in, uh, in my past, point one. And point two, uh, why I'm emphasizing, you see, a story is uh, a story. Uh, for example, when I made the booth, the horror film, uh, probably I was the first one to set it in an apartment. Normally all horror films have been set in a house on a hill or somewhere uh, where you can't, uh, I mean, uh, in a forest or something like that. So in the middle of a show or an apartment something is happening, it changes the entire dynamics of what you think a horror film is about. So I, I would take a, take a reversal of that genesis. In a concrete jungle like Mumbai to set a satya and then to see this these vast wastelands, you know, where there's no amenities or no nothing. So the atmosphere reminiscent of uh, the Wild West, like you know, cowboys in the Western uh, films, 1960s Western films. So I would think uh, that would be the difference. To that extent, I think it cannot be compared at least to what I've done in this uh, genre before. Thank you. And Abhishek, uh, you say it yeah, so you have done some interesting projects like Sul uh, Sultan Pataka, right? So I have a question: How was it, uh, like you know, working with an amazing director who has already sent, uh, set a benchmark in the job? See, for me, it's like income. I, 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 I
मुझे हमेशा से हीरो बनना पड़ता है सो हेयर आई एम जस्ट गोइंग माय जॉब जॉइन एवरी सिंगल थिंग लाइक मी सिटिंग हेयर राइट नाउ आई एम विटनेसिंग ऑल ऑफ दिस थिंग आई एम सिटिंग शेयरिंग द स्टेज विद राम सर दुशेंद्र सर ईशा जी ऑल ऑफ द लाइक इट्स ब्यूटीफुल एंड इवन यू गाइस मैंने हमेशा सपना देखा था कि यार मैं स्टेज पे होऊंगा और उनसे पत्रकार जो है दो चार अच्छे से सवाल पूछते हैं सो मैं बड़ा खुश हूं और ये वो डायरेक्टर्स हैं और जब आप इस सपने को जी रहे होते हो और आप बॉम्बे में होते हो एंड यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द सिनेमा सो यू स्टार्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ओके नाउ दिस इज वो दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू डू सो मेरा हमेशा से राम सर के साथ काम करने का सपना है सपना था और मुझे नहीं लगता कि ऐसा कोई आदमी होगा जिसका नहीं होगा अपनी एनी शूल सो मैं मैं इंतजार कर रहा हूँ कब रामू सर डायरेक्ट करेंगे खुद और मुझे वो मौका मिलेगा सो आई एम स्टिल वेटिंग फॉर दैट बट थैंक यू वेरी मच सर फॉर गिविंग दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी मैं कई बार बोल चुका हूँ मेरे लिए इसकी बहुत अहमियत है मैं बहुत खुश हूँ थैंक यू वेरी मच सो पटाखा वॉज ऑल्सो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग विद विशाल सर इट्स अगेन ऑन द सेम नॉट इज ऑल्सो इंडियन डायरेक्टर आई एम जस्ट गेटिंग लक आई वॉन्ट टू बिकम हीरो and i'm becoming a professional so my whole process is i'm learning and i'm working hard please aap log aashirwad dijiye zarur theek hai thank you very much yeah. ramu my question to you ramu my question to yes. you is like he's asking he's saying he wants to work with you as a director why did you not direct this yeah <laughs> See, I I think the approach to a series of web series I feel is very different from uh, how a feature film happens because of the amount of number of uh, episodes or the length of day and like and like a two hour film. Direction is eventually about taking decisions, decisions of the story, of where it should be shot, and the characterizations, uh, design of the character, and the casting and the look and everything. For instance, many people are not aware that uh, Narcos has 19 directors, not one. You know, the showrunner will be just one. You know, and it's not even the episode is short; each episode is short by. It is one track because that is equivalent of what I would say an architect's design of a certain scale model and uh, structural drawings, and then the contractors will start building. You know, they they are approaching the local problems in terms of practical problems, but the monologists are obligated to carry the design, which is they cannot go beyond. So I think to zoom out and see it from the top of all the departments, not getting directly involved, gives you a certain new way of constructing a project. So which is the reason I decided to use uh, others here. And why did you choose to deal with uh, MX? As a producer, I mean because I really connected to the creative team at like Sakaran, Karan Bedi, and uh, Mansi Sivasto and Parag when I first uh, uh, met them. Of course, that and when I told the story, they were very excited, and I like them as people, and I like the respect they have for creative uh, people to give them uh, enough freedom to see that it comes out the best. So I think as people I connected, and of course as a company, we are. Uh, hi everyone, a very warm welcome. I'm Namita Sashde from Punjab TV Group. Uh, my question goes to you, Rama sir. Uh, is the Hanum inspired from uh, two events? Uh, from two events. See, I I would say, see, the 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 point is, uh, I I personally think there's no such thing as a true event because we we can't find truth even now in the present day. You know what exactly is true. I'm just giving an example. See, for example, till today we really don't know what happened to Sushant Singh. We just only have theories. Now, something which happened 30 years back or 40 years back, I can't say that. So, fundamentally, what happens is the many such stories which happen in that region, in uh, which is Uttar uh, Andhra Pradesh. I've been hearing them from my childhood you know, about uh, legends and the, the revenge stories and all that. So, I picked up a lot of them and put it in fiction. So. It's not necessary that this incident would have happened in this guy's story. I'm just from someone else. So for, for practical purposes, it is being shown to people by who do not know the story. 
So yes, I would say partly inspired, but but it's not a true story. I don't know if I was confusing enough. <laughs> My uh, another question goes to you, sir. Uh, like Isha said, that you always bring out extraordinary out of the ordinary. May I ask you, how do you go about conceiving your stories? I mean, most of the time, I, when, when I do my research, when I meet the actual people more, I mean, I, I felt more than writers, the people who experienced that uh, would have an understanding of it. But I, I get the emotional context from there. So I get shocked uh, when someone tells me about for how long, in, in cinema usually, because it's a screenplay and we have limited time and it moves very fast. But in real life, there are people who take even after waiting for three years or four years, you not know, waiting for the right time or due to various other factors, you know. So when, and there's a line in Godfather, the way it stays best when it's whole you know. So I think a person who's living the experience, what he tells me, for that is the basis of the story for me. And I try my best to capture that aspect. Then that is also going to influence the actor who's performing his body language and how he talks and all of that comes from there. I mean, since you haven't seen this, I can't take an example from Dhanam. But to answer your question, as far as Satya is concerned, my primary thing was when I was uh, in Bombay, I suddenly heard of. Uh, Mr. Gulshan Kumar being shot in the film. You know? I was from the producer of Jammu Sudan at that uh, time, when we got the news. So Jammu Sudan started telling me, he, he called me at 8 o'clock in the morning, and then uh, I was supposed to do it at 10, and then he went to this place. And so whenever someone meets with a violent death, like an accident or a murder, we tend to uh, kind of roll back what he's been up to. You know? Then he, he thought occurred to me, if, if, if Gulshanji woke up at 7 o'clock, what time did the killer wake up? You know? We, we never think of it. You know? So did he tell his mom to put the alarm clock to wake him up at 5 to prepare? You know? Did he have his breakfast before killing or after killing? So the moment I think of him as a human being, it suddenly looks like I thought about it. We only hear about them either when they kill or when they die. So what do they do in between? So that for me was a start point of Satya. So to, that, that is what brings the human out. And then the, and the crimes they do looks even more believable because there's people that believe. So that, that's my answer. Thank you so much, sir. My next question goes to you, Isha. One more question, please. Uh, is that it? His answers are fab. I hope you all understand. Definitely. Yes, absolutely. He always gives interesting answers. and. Uh, that's the way he is, I believe. Isha, I want to ask you, like, your fans want to see you more often, but of late, uh, they don't get to see you more often. So what is the reason behind that? Well, the thing is, uh, now that uh, there's OTT and now it's more content-driven and now uh, it's more about, uh, I think a lot of actors, they're uh, getting a good and a fair chance to act. For me, it's not just about running around trees and just working for the sake of working, to be very honest. I have a lot on my plate. I'm an entrepreneur and I have a startup of my own, which is the hospitality industry. Also, I do a lot of, uh, I've tried my, I'm trying my hand in politics as well. So, wow. Amazing. That deserves a clap, I mean. <laughs> so, I mean, of course, I'm not going to stand for elections and all of that, uh, Jee, but yeah, I'm taking care of the uh, ladies' transport wing in BJP. So, yeah, for now. So then, um, and of course, I have a daughter, I have a husband, I have, he's into the hospitality business, he's a hotelier. So then I said that, I got a lot of scripts. I, I was working after, uh, in fact, Rihanna was just three months old. Since then, I've been working, but I've been working in the South, not here. I think South has understood my value much more than Bollywood has. Is it? Probably. So, uh, yeah, they welcomed me even in the beginning. In the, the, the beginning of my career, the first film that I did down uh, in Tamil, I got a Filmfare Award for that. I did a lot of great films in the South. 
And uh, now, yes, now again, my South Indian director. <laughs> so I don't know, it's something, it's some, some connection that I have with uh, the South. So you'll see me much more, I have about five uh, projects this year, out of which uh, three are uh, web uh, OTTs, uh, web shows, and the two films. So you'll see me a lot. That, that really, really each, really one, really each one is different. Love yeah, yeah, one I'm a cop, one I'm something else, one I'm something else. So it's great, you know, a good platter, you'll see a nice, it's a good buffet of me. <laughs> I'm mouth watery already. Yes, thank you. Abhishek, my next question goes to you. Like, you get to learn so many things when you play some, uh, some new characters. This is one very different character we are seeing you do. So what did you unlearn for that? Uh, I guess nothing. I, I already had this thing in me, like I'm so desi, I'm from Haryana, I'm from village, you know. I have like seen it all in like the normal life where you don't have anything at all, but, but the nature is with you all the time. So it doesn't matter if it's too hot, you find a tree, you just lie down there, enjoy the breeze. And that's exactly what I did on set. And, uh, but the most important part, uh, I would like to say is, my whole team was prepared very, very well. Like my director, Manju Agastya, the assistant director, and everybody costume. So I just I just went there and they did some changes, they made some changes, you know, cut my hair short, they start, gave me costumes. Padra Padra Dinta Hamari Kapadi Nin Pulte De Sir. Special Manju Sir Bolte De Nain, Jab Tak Tum Ko Isme Se Smell Nhi Aegi, Tum Sir Tum Nain Ko Chobi Character. So, being a Naxalites, you, uh, see, I don't know Kya Vanta Hai. But as human, as whatever we have experienced so far, we are, we can understand that you are running for something and from something. So that's what I was doing and that's what gave me the motivation. And as an actor, I really enjoyed it. So nothing to unlearn, but everything to learn, I guess. Thank you. Very nice, wonderful. Thank you. I think you have a आपके पहले भी काम किया है रामजी के साथ और अभी इस सीरीज में आप काम कर रहे हो ये वाटर यू नो समथिंग अबाउट योर कैरेक्टर और आप साउथ इंडिया बहुत सारा काम किया है आपने लैंग्वेज लाइक यू नो व्हाट लैंग्वेज इज बीइंग यूज्ड इन दिस टोटली नेक्सलेंस क्या लैंग्वेज यूज़ कर रहे मतलब कम्युनिकेशन के लिए लैंग्वेज होते हैं ना तो नक्सल है जहाँ और कौन सा लैंग्वेज यूज़ करते हैं कम्युनिकेशन के लिए कौन सी वाली वाली नहीं तेलुगु करते हैं कोई भी लैंग्वेज हो तो मैं मानता हूँ कि मदर लैंग्वेज इस डी बेस्ट लैंग्वेज इन द वर्ल्ड तो जो भी अपना मदर लैंग्वेज उस because of the accent he speaks Telugu from Marathi, like the Marathi accent in Telugu. So if you ask what language he speaks, I don't know. <laughs> that becomes individualistic. And in the old yeah. film also, probably. Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course. So also, Sahaji is not playing a next life, incidentally. He's playing a landlord. Uh, but I agree with what he said. See, the point is if everyone, like when I, I'm from Hyderabad, for example, maybe is from Bengal. All of us will have our peculiarity. That is what it operates. I think to completely fine tune this is the language of the film. I, I think it's actually fake to do anything like that. So, like if Nisha is coming into Dahanam from some other space, the local dialect could be different. So, I think that's how it is. Yes, sir. After the character and the other actors also, like this, you know, something on your your character. Hi everyone. So, my character is a village girl who is very innocent, she has a family, but sometimes she has a lot of family. After that, she becomes a girl and a girl. Then, she starts my journey from there, my character is Pavani. So, I would like to say that which location we have shooting here, all actors. It was so cold and it was so tough job. Oh my God! I mean, we have experienced it, so we know it. Our idea will not be that it was so cold. And 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 it
जो डे शूट हो रहा था नाइट शूट हो रहा था होल नाइट फिर उसके बाद नेक्स्ट डे शूटिंग सो वैसे लोकेशन पे शूटिंग करना टफ था और मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि दहन हम हम लोग जो जो भी हम लोग ने एक्टिंग किया है ऐसा कैरेक्टर मिलना बहुत मुश्किल है मतलब एज ए एक्टर आई थिंक मैं बहुत लकी हूँ कि ऐसे स्ट्रॉन्ग कैरेक्टर मुझे मिला है मैंने uh, मैंने अपना एक्टिंग परफॉर्मेंस दिखाने का चांस मिला है सो कहाँ ना मेरे लिए बहुत ही स्ट्रॉन्ग कैरेक्टर आई दहानम ने भी मैं एम एक्स ओरिजिनल सीरीज दहानम में जो कैरेक्टर प्ले कर रहा हूँ उसका नाम ओबुल रेड्डी है और जैसा कि आप लोगों ने विजुअल्स पे देखा है ये लाइक इट्स वेरी ब्रूटल और खतरनाक काइंड ऑफ कैरेक्टर इट इज सो पहले तो सबसे पहले थैंक्स टू आर जी सर मुझे ये अपॉर्चुनिटी देने के लिए और दिस इज माई लाइक सेकेंड कंजिक्यूटिव वर्क विद सर और थैंक्स टू एम एक्स ऑल्सो थैंक यू सो मच और आई होप के फोर्टीन को जब ये सीरीज रिलीज होगी तो ये कैरेक्टर और पूरा सीरीज आप लोगों को पसंद आए सो इसी उम्मीद हम रखते हैं थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच और मेरे को भी तो थैंक यू बोलो मैंने कितनी हेल्प की थैंक यू डालिंग थैंक यू I just want to tell you something answering your question about uh, you know you you yeah his character is actually based on true character uh, yeah and i want to just share a couple of things with you about him the first time they told me about him is he's the said uh, uh, because he had a reputation of really violent and really dangerous reputation so i met a friend of his the original local policeman it was really was killed in 1995 no so as to was he really uh, that bad guy i i said he said no it's not really not as much as what people think so how many people uh, do you think could have killed i mean maximum 200 you know <laughs> okay and it's the body pain is not that bad guy so he said uh, because see people Think it's four, four and five hundred, not that much. Only two hundred, say. So that is a measurement factor. So they said he is a guy who's actually very nice guy when he's not drunk, but he's all the time drunk. <laughs> and every day he starts drinking at two o'clock in the afternoon, and then goes on, and then wakes up at twelve. So between twelve and two is okay. I don't know whether he's hiding the actual person inside and acting. <laughs> so I don't know if this is the actor or that is the actor. Nena Kabila. Well, Javan Dar ka character hai. Bache log hai mera. Matlab wo kya hai ki egoistic person hai. Usko insult nahi chalta hai. Usko matlab. पनिशमेंट करना है तो वो उसको पूरे खानदान को पनिशमेंट करना है इस टाइम पे जनरल इनोसेंट आदमी है आपने अभिलाष अभिलाष जैसा डेंजरस पर्सन को जन्म देने वाला आप इनोसेंट कैसे हो सकते हैं स्टोरी है ना दिस इज लाइक वेरी डिफरेंट 
जो अभी तक आ, आज तक जो फिल्में जो बनी है या फिर आपका जो कंटेंट अभी तक जितने भी ओ पे अभी तक जो कंटेंट आए हैं तो फर्स्ट टाइम जब मुझे ये नरेट किया गया स्टोरी और मेरा कैरेक्टर जो मुझे बताया गया तो आई फील लाइक इट इज इट इज वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट नॉट लाइक मतलब कुछ थोड़ा बहुत नहीं बट मुझे बहुत ही ज्यादा इंटरेस्टिंग लगा और इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ एवरी कैरेक्टर सो और आज के एंड में अगर मैं बताऊँ तो जितने भी टॉप ओ टी हैं उनमें एम जो है वो टॉप में है जो टॉप के ओ टी हैं उनमें है और आप ट्रस्ट कर सकते हैं उस ओ पे क्योंकि जो अभी आज की डेट में कंटेंट आ रहे हैं और लोग पसंद भी कर रहे हैं तो उन्होंने ये स्टोरी को चूज किया है और हम बहुत खुश है कि हाँ एम ने लाइक उन्होंने हमारे इस कंटेंट को हमारे इस प्रोडक्ट को चूज किया और मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ कि ये कंटेंट जैसे कि हमें काम करने में मज़ा आया सबको पूरी यूनिट को काम करने में मज़ा आया सारे एक्टर्स को काम करने में मज़ा आया और मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ कि आप सभी लोगों को भी जब आप देखेंगे तो वो चीज़ फाइनली दिख जाए कि हाँ दिस इज समथिंग रियली नाइस मैं फर्स्ट थैंक यू बताऊंगी आर जी वी सर को कि सर आपने मुझे बंगा बेटी से लॉन्च किया है सो सर का ऑलवेज प्रोजेक्ट ऑलवेज मतलब चैलेंजिंग कैरेक्टर होता है मतलब कुछ भी कैरेक्टर दिया जाता है सर लगता है कि ओ माय गॉड मैं कर सकती हूँ या नहीं मतलब ऑलवेज मतलब टैन मेकअप हो या ग्लैमर कुछ भी सो जब सर ने मुझे ये कैरेक्टर बताया तो मुझे लगा मैं नहीं कर सकती हूँ बट अफकोर्स सर को पता चल जाता है कि कौन कैसे कैरेक्टर में प्ले कर सकता है आई डोंट नो मुझे तो पता ही नहीं है कि मैं क्या क्या कैरेक्टर कर सकती हूँ बट हाँ सर को मेरे ऊपर बिलीव था और मेरे लिए भी बहुत चैलेंज था कि ऐसे कैरेक्टर मतलब मैं परफॉर्म करूँ बिकॉज फुल चेंज लुक लेकिन एज ए एक्टर मुझे लगता है कि जब हम लोग कॉस्ट्यूम मेकअप कर लेते तो उस लाइफ को हम लोग कुछ दिन के लिए जीते हैं सो so, वैसे लोकेशन वैसे और ये दहानम ऐसा सीरीज है कि लोग पसंद करेगा क्योंकि लोगों को ऐसा स्टोरीज पसंद आता है वेब सीरीज एंड मैं एक चीज़ बताऊंगी कि ईशा मैम मुझे आपका वॉइस बहुत पसंद है मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि एक अलग पर्सनैलिटी है तो एंड सर आपका एक्टिंग तो वाओ एंड ऑफकोर्स अभिलाष एंड अभिषेक मतलब ये लोग जितना रियल लाइफ में इंजॉय करता है बट जब शूटिंग स्टार्ट होता है तो ऐसा लगता है ओ माई गॉड सो यहाँ पे ज़्यादातर बॉयज ही है सीरीज में ऑफकोर्स खलाकोर्स मैम या ऑफकोर्स मतलब मुझे अलग से बोलना नहीं है मैम का एक्टिंग डांस एटीट्यूड सब कुछ वाओ मैं बेसिकली पहले डायरेक्टर को फॉलो करता हूँ डायरेक्टर के दिमाग में क्या है मतलब शूल कॉम तक मिले थे तो पहली बार जब डायरेक्ट कर रहे थे तो मैं पेन पेपर लेके बैठा और हर हर एक सीन में कैसा कैसा कुछ आते थे वह मैं लेके बैठता था अभी भी मैं समझो अराउंड फाइव हंड्रेड भी फिल्म किया हुआ तो आज भी मैं लिखता बैठता हूँ और ले जाता हूँ और मैं कॉल आर्टिस्ट के बारे में हमेशा चाहता हूँ कि उनका अच्छा होने मेरा तो पक्का होने वाला है अच्छा तो मैं मुझे मानना है कि मैं सबको साथ अच्छा रहूँ और अच्छा करूँ और बहुत टैलेंटेड लोग आजकल बहुत सीरीज फिल्म से आ रहे तो ऐसा कुछ नहीं कि ये ज़माना हो ज़माना सब लोग जो जेनियन होते हैं जो अच्छे होते वो आगे आते हैं और काम करते हैं किरदार को हम अच्छी तरीके से पेश कर सकते हैं 
डिटेल में बता सकते हैं ना कि यू नो फिल्म्स में क्योंकि टाइम लिमिट होती है उसकी वजह से कहीं ना कहीं जो कमी रह जाती है वो ओ में हम पूरी कर सकते हैं वेल well, इस पर्टिकुलर uh, शो की अगर मैं बात करूँ तो uh, कौन सा वो कैरेक्टर है जिसको आप डिटेल में uh, दिखाना चाहते थे और यू नो कामयाब हो पाए हैं दिखाने में फंक्शन No, so the length might be some, a little length might be more. That is not the point. Impact is the point. Finally, you know. So all of them, I feel the success of any OTT, I mean, which is very difficult to, I mean, achieve in a feature film. You will remember the character. For example, the the best show I think ever produced in the world is Narcos. I I must have seen it seven years back or something. Else. I remember every character, no matter it is not the protagonist or the escobar, you know. So I feel they look like real people who really live live at certain time, and I I think it is that is the intention which uh, we try to capture in the movie. Ishaan, lastly, I want to ask you a question. So, I think you know, as you said in the starting of the press press conference, you know, I was in the last year that I was not hot. I didn't understand. Have your perspectives uh, changed now? Now, you are not hot. What do you think? मेरे समझने से ना समझने से क्या होगा आपको हम तो समझते हैं बिल्कुल लेकिन आप बताएंगे देखिए एक एक्टर वही होता है जो अलग अलग किरदार अदा कर सके मुझे मजा तब आता है जब और मजा तब आया जब मैंने शबरी की थी एंड आर जी वी एड ओनली प्रेजेंटेड एंड ही वॉज शॉक्ट एट द वे आई डोंट और उस फिल्म के लिए मुझे बहुत क्रिटिकल एक्लेम भी मिला था तब मजा आता है जब लोग आपको एक सर्टन तरीके से समझते हैं जानते हैं एंड देन यू शॉक दम आई थिंक चैलेंज इज वॉट रियली एक्साइज मी एंड दैट इज वॉट कॉज इज अ चेंज हॉट तो मैं हुई अभी मतलब नार्सिसिस्ट वे बट लेकिन मजा तब आता है जब मैं अलग अलग चीजें कर सकूँ